for joining your girl Danny Blue and from the title you can tell this video is going to be a collection video of my highlighters slash a do you really need blushes and highlighter type chit chat video thing yeah y'all think I can do both of them well I'm doing it so <laughs> that's why you here and this is just what we gonna talk about if this is the first time you're seeing my face I am Danny Blue a natural hair beauty fashion and lifestyle blogger thanks for joining me please make sure you hit that subscribe button and you hit that little bell for the notifications so you know the next time I drop a new video if you are not new hey booze welcome back again and you probably have seen your girl in this outfit maybe two or three times because your girl has to get some videos in while she had time I am applying to school I'm not gonna say what kind of school yet I'm gonna let y'all know later because if I don't get in I'm gonna be real hurt and I'm probably not even gonna come back and say nothing maybe I will who knows but the point is we gonna get this video in I got the time and this is what I want to do for y'all let's jump right in so I'm just gonna go over my um highlighter collection and then i'm just going to talk a little bit about blushes versus highlighters in the end and i'm gonna stop talking because i'm gonna start rambling so yeah the first highlighter i have is the milani face and eye stroke palette in the color 01 sunlight and it is this beautiful beautiful three pan highlighter it has a pink it has a brownish gold it has a creamy whitish and then when you swirl them all together that is what you get so this is one of my favorite 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 drugstore um highlighters i love that i can choose between the three and it's not like i have to use all three like maybe i just want to use two maybe i want to use one like you have that choice and i don't like getting really really dark highlighters because my skin is already deep i don't want it to be a deep highlight i want it to be something that's gonna pop on my skin you know what i'm saying yep y'all chocolate sisters feel me y'all know what i'm talking about so yeah this is one of my favorites um, the next one I have is the Wet n' Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the color Raw Calyx. And I just did a review on this one. Um, spoiler alert, I'm, eh, it be doing the most. Um, it's on my cheeks right now. And this is a, I, did, I was extra with it. Um, kind of a letdown because I didn't feel like I should have to try that hard for a highlighter a highlighter should already be popping and this one doesn't pop that much but yeah next highlighter I have comes in my black radiance um, true complexion contour palette and as you can see I've dug into it and I'll give you a swatchy watchy and it's just a nice goldish bronzy color so yeah i use that more than anything in this palette i just really like you know highlighters that stay on your skin and it doesn't make you work that hard to you know see them i'm dark skin i shouldn't have to go through all of that letting my arm dry so i guess i'll go with this liquid one right here this is from becca shimmering skin perfector liquid and this is what it looks like. It's in the color um, Liquid Crystal. Liquid Opal. My bad. I haven't even opened this one yet. So. But I do like when there's a variety. So you see that? Look. This is something that I mix into or I would mix into my um, foundation because I know this would make my skin just pop really good on a nice sunny day or even during the winter when it's all drab outside, I'll be pop, pop, popping. Next one I have is from Trace Steak. And I think this came in one of my Sephora play boxes and this is the mini highlight stick in Mild Dives Luminescent. And I've used this several times. I've used this as a highlighter, as a um, 
eyeshadow, a eye base. Yeah, it's just a really nice sheen. That's all I can say about it. It's just a nice highlighter. It does what it's supposed to do, and I've used it for multiple reasons. Next liquid one, I have some Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the color Moonlight. And it has this little dropper. This was in one of my Sephora Play boxes too. I've only used this one a few times. And I've um, added it to my foundation from time to time. Just to give me an extra glow all over. Especially during the summertime. Okay. You can see. So it's kind of similar to this one up here. But it has like a lighter color to it. Or more of a peachy tone color. If that makes sense. But yeah. So I like powder and liquid equal. Like I don't have a favorite between the two. One I have not tried. This came from one of the holiday sets from Sephora. This is called Benefit High Beam. And it's in the color Satiny Pink Complexion Highlighter. So I have not, and this is what it came in. It's such a little bottle. But again, I do like the liquids because I can I feel like I can control it better. Damn, that ain't even got no color to it. It's right there. Wow. So that definitely is not gonna work for us colored girls. Like us melanin. No. It's a no. The next one I have is from Tarte, and this is called the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Highlighter in the color Stunner. And this is what it looks like in the package. And that is Bay right there. That is beautiful. I haven't even tried this one yet, but I think I will be real cute. <laughs> now, these two are not necessarily highlighters. They are from Laura Mercier. And this is the Caviar Stick Eye Color. One is in Rose Gold and one is in All Natural. And I've used both of these as highlighters. And I really like them. Like, I've used them all over my lid as well because they are eye products. But I've also used them. I've also used them as highlighters. So, All Natural is right here. And Rose Gold is this first one. So, I mean, again, makeup is interchangeable. You can use it however the hell you want to use it. You know what I'm saying? The next one, well, the next one comes out of this Tartius Pro Glow Palette. And they have three, well, four highlighters in here. And they're pretty pretty. So, I'm going to do the top two, which is Strobe and Stunner. These two right here. And they're really, really pretty. Even though they're fairly light, they do still show up on my skin really well. And then I'm going to do these two right here, which is Lit and Fire. And they're really nice and creamy, and I like that. So again, um, there's a lot of highlighters out here. And it's like you just got to figure out which ones that you gravitate towards. Um, I personally just feel like highlighters are just doing the most and I don't need highlights and blushes, especially since highlighters are starting to look like blushes and blushes are starting to look like highlighters. So another set of highlighters comes from the Carly Bible palette by BH Cosmetics. This was her first one. I didn't buy the deluxe edition because most of the colors were in here, but these four highlighters are beautiful. Um, I'm just going to do the first two. And this is what they look like. Look how beautiful. That's, that's what I'm talking about. If I want to shine, I want to be able to shine. And that is what this palette does. So for the most part, that's what I use this palette for. This is actually a really good palette. But I prefer using the highlighters out of here mostly. I don't really care for this dark highlighter. Like I said, I don't really like having highlighters that are so deep. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
it looks good on this because this area is lighter than my face so it's gonna show up better but I just I, I can't do it all over my face it's a no and the last highlighter I have comes in this Ulta Beauty package I got this for free um, it was like you buy so much and they just give this to you and this one only has one highlighter in it and I haven't even used it yet which is the funny part I don't know what I'm waiting on but sooner or later I will so this is what one side looks like and this is the highlighter right here like see I can't even get this open because um, yeah I've never used it <laughs> come on there we go. And I just stuck my finger in a damn. God damn. So, and this is the highlighter right here. And let's put that on there. Now look at that. That came out really good. It's a bit chalky. But this is something I could work with. Okay. Yeah, I could work with that. My entire collection of highlighters and as you're looking at these they pretty much look the fucking same and i'm just like i don't know if i need to buy any more highlighters and that's why i don't get when people keep buying those anastasia beverly hills highlighters i know i know we are makeup addicts but it gets to a point like you just being wasteful like why do you need all those mother effing highlighters and then on top of that you got blushes too so, for example, let's look at this Makeup Revolution blush palette. These colors pretty much all look the damn same. I don't even know why I bought it. Like, I literally don't know why I bought this. But, yeah, I'm just going to roll with it, I guess. And as I'm looking at it, I'm like, they look like highlighters. So, I'm going to swatch... Okay, these look like highlighters. So you're telling me I need to have the same palettes. I did this one, this one, this one, and this one. That's what they are on my hand. And they look just like highlighters. All you would have to do is just blend these bubbies, bubbies, babies out, and they're highlighters. It's just like I really don't know the point of why we are investing money into blush and highlighters. Now, if you're a person that's like, I'm just doing it because that's what I want to do. Hey, do you. It's your coin. You can do whatever the hell you want to do. I ain't telling you what to do. But I do want you to be aware of, do you need to do it? Like, is this something that's really up in your makeup game? Having blush and highlights. Like, I have on... A highlighter I didn't wear blush today but I could have but I didn't because I'm like they're all starting to look the same same all of my highlighters pretty much look the same do I need to buy another one nope will I buy another one more than actually I'm leaning towards no because I just feel like there is no purpose it's okay hear me out I know you're like you got a million eyeshadow palettes though and they got the same colors true but I can assure you I can go to an eyeshadow palette and find differences among, more differences than similarities among those palettes versus I can look in here and all of these pretty much, they're all brushes, but they all look like highlighters. They perform like highlighters. Look, look, that's the same sheen that I was getting from the highlighters. So do we really need to do both? Oh, or better yet, why can't we make a product that is a highlighter and a blush? And I don't know if that's what this was supposed to be, but it's claiming to be a blush because it has the sheen of a highlighter. But these two, I'll say, have the color of blushes. So I don't know. That's something we should think about. If we are going to do this, maybe we should demand products that actually perform for us instead of us just going out here buying stuff because if there's a market it should be filled i tell everybody that don't be sitting out here just sleeping on folks i assure you there's somebody out here that can make a blush and a highlighter into one and make some 
money. Like I said, mm -mm, money. Because I just want us to make sure that we're... <sighs> We're not just being wasteful and buying stuff just to buy it. I assure you, I understand. It's your money, yada, yada, yada. You grown, blah, blah, blah. But sometimes we are very wasteful. We, the people, when I say we, the beauty community, we are wasteful. We get all this makeup and then it just sits there and then we're looking at these declutter videos because guess what? We just bought some shit that we ain't even used. Exactly. I can attach a million videos showing you how many times people been like, oh, I don't use it. Oh, I bought another one. Oh, I'm going to use this one instead. Oh, I don't like that one. Yeah. I implore you, go through your blush. Go through your highlighters. Look and see how many look the same. Then decide, do you need all of them? With that said, I want to thank you for watching. Make sure you hit your girl up with a question or comment below. If you like the look I have today, just ask for a tutorial down below. Thumbs up if you like this random collection slash rant video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and you are subscribed and I'll see you in the next video.